Hi, this is Michael Cullen from Film Sound Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to talk about importing my picture lock and my AAF. And this is the same process too if you have an OMF as well. So in the previous videos, we've set up my Pro Tools session and created my tracks for my different families. And so let's import my picture lock video into this session. So to do so, let's go File, Import, Video. And so here's my project folder and my picture lock video is in my turnover folder. And here it is. And when I talk to the editor, I normally request a ProRes 422 movie file or a DNX HD 36 move file, since those normally work the best within Pro Tools. So here's my Murphy's Log picture lock and let's import it. And when I click import, this video import panel comes up and I'm gonna make a new track and then for location, I like to click spot so I can tell it specifically where I want it to go. I'm also going to want to import the audio from the file and that audio is going to become my guide track. So let's say, okay. And I haven't viewed this file, but I'm going to assume that there's probably 30 seconds of pre-roll before the film begins. And since our film should start at the one hour mark, let's put 59, 30, into the spot that I want this move file to start from. So let's click OK. And great. And so now it's going to ask me where I want to put the audio from the video file. And it will default to my audio files for my Pro Tools session, which is totally fine. So I'm going to click Use Current Folder. And now it's going to import the video and the audio track. Great. So now that it imported the video and the audio file, I'm going to move my new audio file to the very top of my session along with my new video file. And here's my new video over here on the right. I'm going to make it much smaller so I can actually see it. So I'm just going to hit right click and then half size and even probably make it a little bit smaller. So now we can see here's my two new tracks that it imported. And let's make sure that the two pop within the video file is synced up to the two pop in my session. And just by judging visually, it looks like that it's not. And so that just means there's a little extra pre-roll in the video. And so let's nudge over my guide track and my video file so that it matches the two pop within my session. So I'm just gonna select the two tracks and I'm gonna nudge it using the comma over to the correct position. And I'm nudging on a factor of one frame since that's what I set up within my nudge factor up here on the top. So now we can see that my two pop within my video file and my guide track is perfectly in sync with the two pops within my session. And so when I click play, you'll see that the video started right at the one hour mark. So now that I have my picture lock, let's import my AAF. And so an AAF is a audio file container that I received from my editor that has all the audio files that my editor edited within her own editing program. And since she worked within Avid Media Composer, the best way to send files from Avid Media Composer to Pro Tools currently is through an AAF file. Now, when I work with editors that work in Premiere, it's currently better to use an OMF file instead. So before working on your project, try to talk to the editor to see what program they're using to edit so you can receive the best file to import into your session. And when you talk to your editor, make sure to request an embedded AAF or embedded OMF, because then with that file format, it will put all of the audio data within one single file. And so that way you won't lose any audio files during the transfer from picture editorial to post sound. So let's import the AAF by going file, import session data. And my AAF is also located within my turnover folder. And here it is. So this import session data panel will come up and we can see quite a few different things. And so it's telling me all the session information from the editor session. And it looks like that we're starting on the same time code. And so when I set up my session, I started at 59 minutes. And it also looks like that she started on 59 minutes. So when I import this audio data, we should be already perfectly in sync. Then down here at the bottom, we can see all the different tracks that she had within Media Composer. 
And so I'm going to import all of the tracks that she had, and then I'm going to organize it later on. And then another thing, some people don't like to import the clip gain, but I like to import the clip gain that she had within her session just to see what kind of volume automation she did within her session. So the settings look all good to me, so let's import them into my session. So this panel popped up, and that's okay if some effects were ignored, and I don't need a report. And great, so you can now see that it is starting to import my embedded AAF. And so it's looking within the AF file and then placing all the audio clips that she had on her session now into my session. And so it's going to take a couple minutes to find all the files. So now we have all the audio clips analyzed. And let me change the color of my guide track up here just so I can see the difference between them. Let's make it something maybe nice and neon. And I'm also going to rename the track to add guide to the front, just so I know what that audio track is being used for. And so let's zoom in to make sure that my AAF is in sync with my guide track. And so if you look at the peaks between the AAF and the guide track, they look almost exactly the same. And so we can double check through a couple different looks, but as you can see, the audio is definitely in sync. And so the audio came at the same time because the editor and I both had the same starting time code. So now that I have all of my picture lock and my AF synced up, let's save the session. And now we're all set to edit all the audio clips. And so this concludes this video of importing my picture lock and my AF. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.